Hello, my name is Ilona and again about DNA stuff. I uploaded my uh, 23andMe raw DNA to the 24 genetics. Uh, well, I heard uh, a lot of good rev not like reviews, but well, I, I saw good comments about this one that they give very uh, precise and deep uh, results so I wanted to try but I am a little bit disappointed for me this result is quite wrong if I can say it uh, and it wasn't also for free and it wasn't cheap I actually f paid 49 pounds for this up upload so I am not happy about the result and now I will explain you why. Well, okay, as you can see, Europe 59.9%, Russia 40.10%. Uh, Russia is not in Europe. <laughs> well, okay, geograph geographically most of the Russia is not in Europe. At this point, I cannot say that the result is wrong. Actually, this one is the first like DNA test or something like that, which shows uh, Russia for me. And uh, uh, if, for example, on 23andMe I am mostly like Latvian, which is also not wrong, but my Russian part is missing there, and then, for example, in ancestry, I am Lithuanian, which is even less correct. Uh, and yeah, for example, my heritage uh, Baltic, 100% Baltic. Mm, well, so yeah, as my father is Russian, so 40.1% Russia looks very correct <laughs> because well probably he is not even 100% Russian which is possible but if we look more 50.8% uh, Poland I don't know I, I am Latvian I was born in Latvia yes uh, okay my mother has some well, of course, my mother and I am, um, of course, I have some ancestors from Poland. Uh, I think she is uh, approximately 25% Polish, so I could be maybe 12% or 10% Polish. But that's what I know. Maybe uh, we have another ancestors from Poland, from from her mother's side as well, or her father's mother's side, but still 50% I think is too high. 5% uh, Belarus, well okay, that's that's possible. 1.25% uh, 1, 1 Netherlands. And here uh, we could say, well that's just noise. <laughs> I disagree with that because 0.1% Latvia so Latvia is a noise for me seriously no how I can have only 0.1% Latvia if I am Latvian well even, even if I have some ancestors from Poland, maybe some from my father's side or from my mother's side, but not from that side which I know already we have Polish ancestors. Well, well, it could be maybe 20, 25, I don't know person, but not 50. I have, I, I must have at least 25% Latvia. I see. 20. Okay, 10%. I don't know, but not 0.10%. It's like nothing. And 0.5% Lithuania. Ger uh, Germany. 
2.25%. Okay, Germany uh, again. Well, maybe Netherlands. It's something. Well, I can. Well, it's close to Germany. It could be. I think I have some cousins from Netherlands and from Germany. Well, historically, it is possible to have some ancestors from Germany because of the uh, Livonian times. <laughs> but I am more German than I am Latvian, according to them. Mm -mm. Absolutely no, I don't believe that. It can't be. Well, also, I have maybe it is possible that I, one of my great, great, great something mothers, she had German surname, which is Schulte, but, but it doesn't mean she, that she was definitely German, it's just a surname. She could possibly have this German surname without being a German, so I don't. I cannot be sure about this, but well, yes, historically, uh, it is uh, absolutely possible. Which, uh, but you know what is interesting? I don't have any Scandinavian or Finnish and or Estonian because I have a lot of Finnish cousins. Uh, I have less Estonian cousins than Finnish, but still have some. I have cousins from Norway and I, yeah, some of from Norway. Well, of course, it doesn't really prove that my aunt, I have ancestors from these places. It's possible that they have ancestors from, for example, from Latvia or Russia. But still, I believe we Latvians should have some ancestors from Scandinavia because it's like like near <laughs> I don't know and Spain well 0.3% Spain so I am more Spanish than Latvian according to them and Ireland 0.1% uh, so I am I have the same amount of Irish DNA as I have Latvian also about Sp Spain and Ireland actually and um, some other DNA tests. I have some like, or my and my mother has some British Isles so, or even Ireland, uh, for example, on, on GPS origin. So I believe that I could possibly have ancestors from Ireland or Scotland or from both. Again, Spain on um, some. Uh, well, actually, on a lot of uh, match calculators, I have Basque ethnicity. I'm not sure what is this. Is it something similar to GPS origins? Is it uh, like these places where some of my DNA originated, where it comes from? So it could be a long time ago. But, well, okay, these are the territories. Uh, most I have. Podlaski and Suvalki. Well, yes, it is possible. Well, no, 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 I mean, it's not possible. It's definitely I have ancestors from this region because it's also near uh, Lithuania. And, um, and I think I have to show you in map. Uh, wait a minute, Suvalki. This is near Calvaria, and I heard that some one part of my Polish ancestors came from that Calvaria or or and uh, wait a minute Grodno, which is in Belarus. So it's very close actually to these places. Also, this place, uh, Lomza, I actually checked a lot of on Jedmatch uh, DNA people who have also ancestors with, from this region, Lomza, and I have, they are like my 
very far, 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 far away cousins, especially from this region. We, from other regions in Poland, I don't have so many. I, I even I could say I don't really have these uh, DNA matches. But from this long the region, yes, I have a lot. And actually, my surname is Janczewski. And I found out that there is this uh, mm, place Janczewo or something like that. So it is probably that's one part of my family or my one part of my ancestors came from there. So, yeah. This one, yes, okay. Viteps, well, yes, okay, it's it's possible, it's Belarus. The North Netherlands, North Netherlands. Well, okay, Kiro, I have no idea about these places in Russia, actually. I checked a little bit in the map. I don't know anything about my Russian part. Uh, well, almost anything, so I have no idea. I know that my father is from northwest Russia, which is Vologda, somewhere there. Bomorsky, it's I believe also somewhere on the same level as North Netherlands. Warsaw, well, Warsaw, Tambov. I have no idea, Lithuania, yes, but only 0.05%. Okay, Tver. I don't even know where is this. Well, okay. It looks... It looks possible. But again, some of my Russian ancestors could be from my mother's side, not only from my father's side. Well, okay, I, I, I really don't know this, this, this part. Smolensk, it's also not so far away from what we have. Mordovia, this one is interesting actually, 4%. And you know what? It seems that I am, I have more percent from Mordovia than from Latvia. Okay, okay, what is Nieder Saxon? Well, it's, it's, it's again part in Germany. I think it was somewhere also in the north, more northern part, if I'm not wrong. Lubuski, it's I believe in Poland, Rostov, Navarra. So, okay, Navarra, as I found out, is uh, it is in a that part where Basques live, so, and as I said, on some calculators, so that much, I have this Basque, I don't know, percentages or something like that, and, uh, and somewhere else I also saw some, like, Spain, and Basque something, so, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. And uh, Ireland, it's Connacht. I don't really know a lot about Ireland. I was uh, for six months. I was living in Ireland, but that's it. This is the most Irish part. Well, if you talk about language uh, in this Connacht, uh, Irish language is preserved the most compared to the other island. I don't know genetically how is there more Irish or not, but well, okay. It seems that I have I have ancestors from Western Ireland, which is cool. And what else? Muron. It's in Russia. Well, well, okay, it's it's interesting. I don't know. I cannot say that this one is wrong. I don't really understand how they... How they... Who are their reference populations? How... To, to who they compare my DNA? 
how they came up with these particular places and yes why only 0.1% Latvia this part is really wrong and that is disappointing because well if it was for free I would be also disappointed but well okay it's for free whatever but as I paid money actual money for this one um, I am not I cannot say that I am happy about this result maybe I don't understand something I don't I don't know well well okay this was like my review for this uh, 24 genetics well I cannot say this one is bad it's more interesting for, for example than let's say family tree DNA or my heritage or even ancestry but 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 what I want I want to not interesting results, but uh, correct results. And yeah, well, I cannot say that results are not correct. Yes, uh, but not correct enough. Let's say that. Well, okay. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.